Nola Gent here, and in this episode, The Caverns. Yeah! Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. The caverns are located on a beautiful location in the Cumberland Plateau, located in Pelham, Tennessee, which is located in Grundy County, Tennessee. The caverns is 10 miles from Swanee, the University of the South, and about an hour from Chattanooga, and about an hour and a half from Nashville. During my visit, they had a lot of these beautiful thistles blooming, and as an individual of Scottish ancestry, I do love some beautiful thistles. As a tourist destination, the Caverns offers you the ability to tour their wild cave and then also tour their tame civilized cave where they have a music venue built inside. They also host live music shows inside of their cave-based music venue where they also host the PBS musical adventure series, The Bluegrass Underground, that features both long-established and emerging artists from many styles of music. Now inside here is where you would get your tickets and then they also have a little gift shop in here with a lot of items. And then when we walk outside here, you can see more of the beautiful area they're in and they also have this bus here that I initially thought we we're gonna have to travel somewhere to get to the cave, but you are right here next to both of the caves. So we're going to be able to explore and walk down into the wild cave right here when we finish exploring here, we will walk over to where the music venue cave is. They are connected, they believe, somewhere underground, but currently the exploration cave and the music venue cave are not connected. Now, I know that we all need a break from the insane election that we're all about to go through here in the United States in 2020. So I'm just going to let us explore this different world, literally, with some relaxing music to let you enjoy the absolute otherworldly beauty that we're going to see inside this cave. So just kick back and enjoy what a beautiful trip this is going to be. And before we leave this world all the way, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it.
Wow, that really was some beautiful scenery in that cave and certainly an otherworldly experience in many ways. You can really see why our ancient ancestors really found caves to be such very special places. In a lot of ways, it's almost like you're being reborn when you come out of that cave again. And in a lot of ways, you don't really want to leave it as you return back to this normal world that we live in again. But don't worry, we still have another cave to go tour as we have to see the music venue cave. So, as we tear ourselves away from that wonderful, beautiful, relaxing time we just had, we're going to have a little bit more adventure as we tour the exciting music venue cave. But we also get to enjoy some of the natural beauty of the Cumberland Plateau as we hike down towards the other cave. So it's not too far away, we just have to get through the gravel parking lot here. We see a little bit of that beautiful Cumberland Plateau right there in front of us. And then we're going to soon enough be at the cave. I'm going to do a little 200% speed up of the video here so we get there a little bit faster so this video doesn't get too long, but there definitely is some beauty to see even at this speed. So as we round the corner here, we will soon enough see this other cave which has an even more impressive entrance than the one we just went into. So this cave had a naturally occurring entrance, the other cave they had to create the entrance that we went through. So the entrance to this cave is as it has been for a very long time. And there was evidence that it had been used in the past by Native Americans. So this is a very special cave in a lot of ways, even though they have uh, added a lot to it that has made it not exactly a natural cave anymore, but with such a long period of human habitation in it, it certainly had been altered from a natural state anyway. So this is a really interesting place, and I still have not seen any shows here yet. Uh, speaking of, it would really help me a lot if any of you out there could look into joining my Patreon program, because that would help fund trips to do things like come here and see some of the wonderful music shows they have. So if you enjoy this content and you would like to see another video on a music show here, it really would help me a lot if you could join the Patreon program. And I certainly understand during these interesting times we live in, if you can't do the Patreon program, it also really helps me if you simply just hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and click that thumbs up, as that also helps me a lot, and it doesn't cost you anything. So here we are at the mouth of the music venue cave and it's a really interesting spot so this is a very old cave entrance that's been being used for a long time but they have done quite a lot of modifications to it to make it appropriate as a music venue so there are natural aspects of the cave and then a lot of man-made additions uh, the guide also told us that it does flood a lot in here so they do have to worry about constant issues with maintaining the venue water free, but the water constantly is something they're going to have to deal with. That's just part of having a cave as a venue. When it rains, the water will trickle through. Now this door here is very special. It almost looks like some magical entrance from Lord of the Rings. So you see it has the caverns right here, and then a very special inscription is on it. So as you look closer, and the very top there, that inscription says, Welcome to the caverns where the Great Spirit brings all people together through music. And if you can guess what language that is, you would be doing better than most people. But that was in the Sequoia script of the Cherokee. So now as we walk inside, you can see that they do have a lot of man-made structures built inside of this cave. There is the bar right there to the right and they even have a menu up of the items that you can get here. So they do have some food items and some drinks, alcoholic beverages. And uh, then they have the big stage in front. And so there is a lot in here that is really interesting. Uh, the acoustics seem like they would be fascinating to hear a show in here. And there's the stage right there. 
So they have it all set up, ready to go. And uh, I'm gonna go up onto the stage and see what it's like. So they do have a very interesting stage set up here. And as I look around, there would be really interesting acoustics with all of the different shapes up here around the stage. And then uh, what would it be like to be on stage? Here I am, I'm debuting for the first time. <laughs> So I had my moment of glory there and I'm coming down off the stage again and just looking around at some of the other things. They just have stuff all around here. So it's really interesting to be in here when there's nobody else. So this is kind of the VIP tour, I guess, although I really would like to see this place when it's full of people. And then we have a closer shot here of the bar and then they have a gift shop area even here in the back. So this is really quite an interesting setup. And this has been a really great tour. And I really want to come back and see a music show here. It's really a beautiful venue. Such a unique venue to have a place in a cave like this. I almost hate to leave it. I wish there was a show coming up I could go to. And to get a little taste of what a show out here is like, you can watch the PBS show, The Bluegrass Underground. So I had a great time out here. And if you're ever in the area, definitely stop in. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.